St. Louis, Missouri. Up until the turn of the 19th century, the United States ended here at the Mississippi River. During his presidency, Thomas Jefferson aspired to a continental United States. And so, in 1803, he acquired an 800,000 square mile tract called the Louisiana Purchase from France, who had just acquired it from Spain. This area now makes up almost a third of the current contiguous United States. The purchase allowed the explorers Meriwether Lewis and William Clark to make their historic journey to the Pacific. The expedition had previously been prohibited by Spain. The land near the starting point of Lewis and Clark's journey was named the Jefferson National Expansion Memorial, and a fitting monument was erected. The Gateway Arch symbolized a doorway into the West. From here, the future of the country's expansion opened up, and the growth of the nation increased. The arch soars 630 feet above the St. Louis skyline. Inside, a unique tram ascends to the top of the arch for a bird's eye view of the Mississippi River and the city below. Directly beneath the arch is a large museum that tells the story of America's westward expansion during the 19th century. Here, at the old courthouse in 1846, Dred Scott sued for his freedom, the first time a slave had successfully done so. This plea for freedom was rejected by the U.S. Supreme Court in 1857 on the grounds that African Americans weren't American citizens protected under the Bill of Rights. This was one of the catalysts of a larger storm that would divide the nation in civil war only a few years later. 